guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review of the brand new Adidas Finale 16 Milan Champions League official match ball. Now, as you guys can see, this is the box that it comes in. Um, has all the same colors and graphics as the actual ball. We'll open it up. Oh, wow, I actually got it on the first try there. So, we'll open it up and take a look at the ball itself. So, here's the ball. Um, obviously, it looks like the Champions League ball in terms of having the star panels and just the star design in general, but they've changed things up. This one definitely does look fairly unique as far as Champions League balls go. Now, being that this is the top end kind of official match ball, it does have a high retail price. Retails for $160 US. And if you are perhaps interested in one of these for yourself, first link down below in the description, go ahead and click that. It'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find high quality images of this exact ball that I took myself that'll give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person. And of course, you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick this guy up below its normal $160 retail price. So again, if you're interested in one of these, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. So this is the official match ball for the 2016 Champions League Finals, which is going to be held in Milan, Italy. You can see it says final Mil Mil Milano 2016. That was pretty good stutter I just did there. Official match ball, it says right there on the front. You have the Champions League logo on both sides, the Champions League trophy right there in the middle on this kind of, uh, I guess, focal point star, if you want to call it that, where, where it's around all the other logos. And then, of course, you have the Adidas branding um, on several points on the actual ball itself. So the ball, really unique design for a Champions League ball. Obviously, it has a white base, but then the stars have this really interesting design. You have a silver color, then you have a darker gray, you have some gold in there, you have some pink, you've got kind of a reddish pink color, I would say, and then you have these black lines that kind of go from star to star, which is a really, really interesting look. It kind of takes away from the simplicity of the Champions League star graphic, um, but as you kind of get further and further away, obviously you still maintain that star look. You can see here, Definitely looks like a Champions League ball, whereas when you get up close, uh, the black lines kind of hide the star design a little bit, which I think is kind of cool. It reminds me a little bit of the Euro 2004 ball, the one that was kind of blue on blue, um, in terms of just having these lines that kind of randomly scatter across the ball. But all in all, I think it's a pretty cool looking ball. You can see you have the FIFA approved stamp on there as well, for those that are wondering. There's a quick look at the valve that's kind of hidden within the actual star graphic. Um, and again, I just think it's a really cool looking design. Very, very unique. There's really no backstory to the design. They just kind of went for something that looks cool. And I think they did that successfully. It maintains that classic kind of Champions League ball look. But at the same time, it looks very, very modern, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. Now, as far as actual performance is concerned, it's the official match ball, $160 retail price. You expect it to be good, and it is. The quality is great. It's perfectly round. Um, it's got the 32 panel design that features star, uh, star cutouts for the actual panels, and then you, have, of course, have the fill-in pieces in between the stars, um, which is just a really, really cool look, and actually a pretty good uh, performance-oriented ball as well. I would say that out of all the match balls that are out there right now, especially if you're comparing it to the uh, Brazuca variations from Adidas or even the Ordem 3 from Nike, this one feels, in my opinion, the lightest of the bunch, and is also the most consistent in terms of flight pattern and just being able to bend the ball. I know that this ball, for me, when I kick it straight, it's going to go straight pretty much 10 out of 10 times. It's very, very consistent. And like I said, it has a slightly lighter sensation uh, than the rest of the match balls out there, in my opinion. For me, I really like the Champions League ball for juggling specifically. Um, I just think it, it bounces off your foot really, really nicely. Uh, but again, whether you're buying this ball, the Brazuca, the Ordem 3, pretty much any top-end match ball, if you're spending $100 or more, you're going to get top-notch notch quality and top-notch performance. The difference between one match ball and another is more or less little performance quirks and little differences when it comes to feel. But for me, I really, really like the Champions League ball. Uh, not really anything to complain about here whatsoever. Um, so if you're not necessarily kind of bent on having the latest colorway or just the latest look for the Champions League ball, if you can find an older colorway on sale, it's going to feel and perform pretty much identical. 
Um, now, as far as the rest of the ball is concerned, like I said, the build quality is really, really good. All of the panels are thermally bonded, so there's no stitching whatsoever. You find some texturing across the entire surface of the ball. What's interesting about the Champions League ball um, versus the Brazuca variation, for example, is that the texturing varies depending on the panel. So the white panels have a much finer texturing, whereas the stars themselves have a much heavier texturing. So really not gonna impact performance in any way. The texturing is there more so just to um, not allow water to sit on the surface of the ball, it just gives it a more consistent touch in wet weather playing condition, just so it's not left completely slick. Um, but nonetheless, it feels really, really good. And I just like the overall performance and feel of the Champions League ball and it's built to last as well. If you're looking for a, a very, very durable soccer ball, if you're spending, again, a lot of money, as long as you use it on natural grass fields, um, and even on artificial grass fields, although AG fields will be a little bit harder on any soccer ball, um, you should get a very long life out of them. If you're planning on using this on concrete, it's going to get torn up just like any other soccer ball. So again, I would stick to using this on natural grass or artificial grass if you're trying to get the longest life out of it. Uh, but all in all, very, very good ball, very, very good performer. And like I said, out of all the match balls, it definitely has probably the lightest feel and probably the most consistent flight pattern. So if you're looking for those characteristics in a match ball, the new Champions League ball from Adidas or really any of the last couple Champions League balls from Adidas um, are definitely worth a look. So that's pretty much it for my review, guys. Again, if you're interested in one of these for yourself, first link down below, check out the review page on my website. You will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you'll be able to pick it up below its normal $160 retail price. If you have any questions at all regarding this particular ball, leave them down below in the comment section. And I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.